favorites. So I don't have a ton of favorites this month, or from last month, I don't have a ton of favorites. So here are the ones I have so far. First one is going to be something that everyone uses and I have actually not wanted to use until recently. I've always used a brush to apply my foundation, the Beauty Blender. I, you can see it's really dirty, I haven't washed it yet, but I am absolutely obsessed with this. It is so easy to put on my foundation and it works perfectly and it just, it gives me that really nice finish that I like without getting any streaks. I mean, with the brush, I tend to get streaks with it and it's really difficult to combat that with putting on powder. So this Beauty Blender is awesome and I've had it for so long, but I've always just went towards the brush instead of the Beauty Blender. And then speaking of foundation, my favorite foundation for last month is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I absolutely love this stuff. It is super pigmented and it just covers everything. You only need a little bit, you don't need a lot. So I mean, I think I probably still at least have half of this left for the amount of time I've had it. The only issue I have with the Marc Jacobs Foundation is it's extremely messy. If you look at the top here, and the rims, I have no idea how that is happening. I'm very careful and very tedious with my with my foundations and when I put them in and out and everything. And I have no idea how it just keeps smearing all over the cap and then when you close it, it just pools and it kind of bugs me. That's the only downside I have about this foundation is it's really, really messy. But otherwise, I absolutely love it. My next favorite is going to be something that I've recently started using because my hair is always naturally greasy. I've avoided using argan oils and any kind of oil in my hair because of the greasiness. But now that I think about it, just like your face, if you strip down the oils that are in your hair and your scalp, you're just going to make it worse because then your body's working overtime to reproduce those oils that you've already stripped away. So I've noticed that ever since I started using oil in my hair again, my hair doesn't get as greasy. I can go multiple days without having to do anything to my hair and it doesn't get greasy like it used to. So this is one of my favorites. This is the Hask Macadamia Oil. And then this is their Revitalizing Shine Hair Treatment. I think this is like $3 at Walgreens. They're super cheap um, and they last a long time. Like I've used this already for probably about two months and you can see that I barely used any of it. You just use a little drop and it goes a long, long way. My last of one of my favorites, or my cosmetic favorites, is going to be the Mario Badescu uh, Seaweed Night Cream. I bought this a while ago and I didn't until recently start using this a lot more now. So when I first started using it, I mean now I'm already halfway through it, but and that's just from using it for about a month, I'm already halfway through it. And that's because I just overuse it right now and it's because my skin is so dry, but this stuff is absolutely amazing. I wake up and my skin just feels so moist and just amazing in the morning. And then I don't wash my face after I put this on, so in the morning I don't wash my face off with this, I just leave it uh, because I like to kind of keep it on as a moisturizer. And then my last favorite isn't really cosmetic wise, but it is the um, Nutrigold Organic Coconut Oil. This is my favorite coconut oil right now. This is the one that I always get, and it's really great. I mean, any kind of coconut oil is gonna be good for you, especially for your hair, or skin, whatever, but this is just the brand I have, and I've used it for a long time, and so this is my favorite, and I actually use it. Oh, I still have the spoon. And I actually use it for my coconut oil hair mask, which I will be doing in another video so you guys will be able to see me um, apply my hair mask and how I do it. Um, as you can see, I do not melt it, so. But this is the coconut oil I use, and it is one of my favorites. Um, that's all I have for my favorites this month. Like I said, I didn't have a lot, but I did have a couple that stood out to me. So hopefully th this coming month, I will have a lot more favorites to show you guys. So. That's my quick little favorites video for this month, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!